Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you um, the differences between manga and realistic people. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video and please give a big thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials of my drawings. So first I'm obviously going to start off by showing you um, what the different, like what it looks like, some like somewhat, what a realistic person looks like. So this is what a realistic person would look like. Of course, I'm not that great of a drawer. Um, I'm not as good as some people are. But this is somewhat what a realist realistic person looks like. And this is an anime person. I'm not sure if you can see that. But that's what an anime person looks like. So first we're going to start off with the eyes. So obviously you can see the eyes in manga or anime whatever you want to call them they're they're much bigger and they're wider than well sorry than realistic people um the realistic people um their eyes are way more detailed than manga and their eyes are much smaller and they're not as wide as anime people so next we're going to move on to the nose the differences between the noses um Obviously, when you look when you're drawing a realistic person, you want to look at the nose and how the nose is because if you mess up one thing on the nose or the nose doesn't look realistic, then your whole picture is messed up and it doesn't look realistic. So this is what a realistic nose um, somewhat looks like, and this is what an anime nose could look like. So there's. A really big difference like there's a whole bunch of different ways you could draw anime noses um, but that's just one of them or like yeah just different noses like that next thing is the mouth now for anime's mouth um, their mouth their mouth is usually just a straight line with a line underneath um, making it look like the lower lip but in realistic people the mouth is actually formed, like the mouth is actually fully there and it's not just a line. So now I switch, switched my realistic person and also I'm about to switch my anime person. But next we're just moving on to the hair and like eyebrows or that type of stuff, I don't know. Um, but for realistic people. Their eyebrows are actually, I don't know how I can do this, I'll show you. I'll just show you on here. So they have like the eye, sorry about my terrible eyes. Um, they have like the eyes and then for anime, the eyebrows, they usually just go like this. They're usually just straight like that and they don't really have any expression in them. Now, for realistic people, their eyes actually, you actually add some hair to it, and you make it look more like an actual eyebrow would. So, now for the last of many things, I will be showing you the hair. So, the difference between that hair and this hair is, obviously, this hair is, for anime, I like to do just strands of hair. And I just like to make it look messy. Um, sometimes I'll do it like how I have in this picture. But I usually just do strands of hair like this. So yeah, that's the difference. Those are some of the differences between anime and realistic people. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please give a big thumbs up if you would like to see tutorials. More, well, more tutorials because I already have some. More tutorials of um, how to draw. So, yeah, thanks for watching and hit click the button up above and subscribe to my channel.